Hello students and welcome to Top Scholars. Today we'll be talking about another very very interesting topic that is useful and harmful living things. Let us first take a look at the useful living things. Students, when I say living things, we are mainly going to focus on useful animals and useful plants. Let us first talk about the useful plants. As we know, plants can be used for household as well as industrial purposes. Plants can be used as food. For example, fenugreek, which is better known to us as methi. Methi is a common food item which is found in almost all of the households. Moving on, next we have potato, which is also used as food. Various types of vegetables and other delicacies are prepared using potato. Moving on students, next we have lady finger, which is also known as okra or bhindi. Again, another very much favorite vegetable of thousands and thousands of Indians. Next, we have apple, which is a very good fruit. You must have heard the saying, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. So, students, these were the plants which were used as food. Also, we have banana, which is another fruit which can be consumed. Now, students, let us talk about the useful animal in terms of various other occupations. Now, if you think about transport, what animals come to your mind? We have animals like horses, then we have oxen, and then we have camel. Students, these are few examples of animals which are used for transport. Moving on, there are some animals which are very useful in agriculture. One of the best example students is the earthworm. You must have heard that saying, the earthworm is the farmer's best friend. Do you know the reason? Students, earthworm, when they move in and out of soil, they make the soil porous. Also, their fecal matter is a very rich fertilizer which increases the fertility of the soil. To learn more about this topic, download Top Scholars app.